Okay, um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, run the BitMinter client on uh, Ubuntu. If you don't have the right Java installed, and if you don't have the right Java installed, you don't have any Java, have any use installed. So, uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click Engine Start. And if you're like me, you're going to notice nothing happens. Well, uh, you're going to notice that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open up a new tab. Control Shift T, new tab. So uh, LS, where am I? Uh, okay, CD. Uh, Alright, we're in our downloads folder. Yeah. Let's see if you can see. Okay, so uh, no, I'm not in my downloads folder. One more time. There we go. So see the bitmentor uh, JNLP. So uh, you can see it's green, and there's other ones that aren't green. Uh, the command for that is mod a. I, I, I like to do a plus x. Uh, bit mint er dot j n l p. Boom. So uh, yeah. Now it's gonna do that. Uh, you don't need to do that. So as you can see, I have this uh, Java seven freaking uh, tar. So just go up to like Google, all right, Google, Oracle, JDK, 7, or JRE, it's whatever. Um, click on it. Uh, I'm on Linux, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and want to download for Linux. I don't know if this is right. This doesn't look right. Uh, JDK download. There we go. Okay, so go down. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Linux uh, 64. So you can click on the tar.gz. Uh, if you're like me and you're lazy, I'm not lazy, but if you're like I used to be and lazy, you can right click your tar.gz and extract here. So uh, then you'll see that there's some crap it will make this folder here. Okay, so then there's uh, bin. See the Java, Java WS, w, Java Web Start. So you're going to open your terminal here, right? So, uh, uh, dot forward slash Java WS, Java Web Start. Then uh, you're going to do the little top squiggly thing in your top left of your keyboard, slash downloads. If you like me, wherever your file is, mine just in downloads, uh, slash bit minter dot JNLP it'll start it up perfectly fine I'm able to launch an application what the frickin heck anyways uh, totally worked over here anyways so there we go this one works anyways it should work like that and you'll it'll do some crap and then you'll click that and you click run yeah, that's probably why I wouldn't start earlier on the other terminal Anyways, uh, I want to see it start up. Start up. There it is. Yeah, look at that. There's the BitMentor client. So, uh, that's what I did to start mine up. So, we'll go ahead and review. Uh, go to the BitMentor website. You click Engine Start, and nothing happens. So, you're going to go ahead and go to uh, Google, Google Oracle 7 JDK. Click on the website. Go to Downloads. Linux x64. Download the tar.gz. Go to Downloads. Uh, right click extract here. I'm not going to extract it. That's, that's a waste of time for me uh, You're going to click on your Jerry bin right click open terminal here uh, The exact command I used is right here. I'll put it in the description. Maybe But I'll go ahead and go over it. It's a uh, Basically just execute Java web start and then after that put the uh, link to wherever your file is so mine's in the home directory, then downloads, and the file is bitminter.jnlp. Or you could put the file in your Java directory. You see, this, the way I'm doing it, you don't have to fully install Java. You're just using the Java WS, Java Web Start uh, section of Java, so you don't have to fully install it, which is a pitch. Especially if all I want to do is use Bitminter. Uh, so that's how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, donations, let me know. Bye.